Hi, I'm John Bohan, CEO of Social Ties, and welcome to Mobilenomics. I'm at the Stein Erickson Lodge in beautiful Deer Valley, and you can see some of the snow melting behind me. It's June 5th. They've had an incredible year here. We're not here to ski. We're here to talk about the future of advertising and marketing. And I couldn't be more excited because the future is now. 2020, believe it or not, is only 30 months away. So what we're gonna do in this session over the next couple of days is help you, the marketer, help define how you can create meaningful connections between your brand and your customers. Mobilenomics came out of Videonomics, all things video, more TV and uh, digital meat, and we really saw a strong thread. We saw a lot of people talking about mobile as that was the, and continues to be, the fastest growing area within media. Three years ago when we started this, it really needed its own subject, it needed its own platform, and it had some very specific issues, uh, whether it was measurement or location-based tracking or what have you. So we're gonna be interviewing marketing executives from American Airlines, Gatorade, Nestle, and a number of the top agencies to find out how they're navigating the space. I've enjoyed hearing about the other companies and their success stories and their failures. A big uh, key for us in success, I think overall, is testing and learning. I really enjoyed um, some of the earlier sessions um, where we got to hear from brands talking about how they are uh, innovating in the mobile space. Um, Gatorade in particular had some really great takeaways. We have to start thinking more about you know, how do we build you know, incremental products and services, especially leveraging digital technology to do so, uh -huh. that augment the, the core product that, that you provide and, and what your brand represents. How are they dealing with VR, AI, programmatic, mobile video, influencer marketing? What type of stories are they telling to really connect with the consumer? People talking about how inexpensive it is to actually do some of these things was a huge eye-opener for people in the room. They didn't realize they could do virtual reality for 50 grand. Right. That's a big deal. I've got a lead, and I've always found from the VMA events that I come back from them yeah. with the most amount of applicable truth that I can actually use in my day-to-day -day job. Talking about the teams and the cross-functional talent you need to make these things work, that's probably a known known, but it's like it's good to hear that that's the right way to do it. What do we want people to walk away with is removing the form from mobile. Thinking about customer experiences first, and then finding ways to marry that into your, your budget allocation, your strategy development. How do you marry business outcomes with keeping up with the speed of culture and also figuring out how to create a relevant dialogue with your customers around experience. I really like uh, hearing from peers in the industry and ones that aren't in just food and beverage so that we get a good sense of what everyone's doing and compare and contrast our different strategies. Just the level of engagement we've received, the people we've met, the learnings that we've taken from here, you're constantly hearing about new and innovative technologies and strategies. So as a brand, you can sometimes get a little sort of bogged down with all of the constraints. Right? So having conversations on this level sort of take you outside of that and you realize the world of possibilities. Marketing in general has gotten to be much more complicated than it used to be, I think. Personally speaking, I'm much more interested in bigger ideas and people who are less risk averse, people who do things that are a little bit chancier. Tried and true isn't working anymore. So how are they gonna to shift to both be relevant, have relevant products, have relevant messaging, um, and how are the agencies that serve them going to uh, be able to make money? I always feel like I have a good, clear sense of next steps mm -hmm. in any other VMA event, so that's really been the drug that's kind of kept me going. I've been to more VMA events than any other event category out there. I've found at these events that I come away with more actionable things that fuel that innovation agenda than any other type of event I go to. So that's what we're going to be doing over the next couple of days. You're going to have a lot of fun, so stick with me. We're going to have some amazing content.